Biggest mistakes that people do while cleaning, part one. Let's go. Using bleach to clean their floors, but also using a steamer right after that. That is a big no-no. Essentially, you're steaming up bleach and you're breathing all of that in. Mixing bleach with vinegar is just a big no-no. You can cause a big chemical reaction and it's gonna be super dangerous. If your toilet seat is wood, using bleach will actually discolor it. Using the same rag or towel for everything. We color coordinate them so that we're not cross-contaminating between kitchen and bathroom and we also wash them separately. Cleaning floors first before anything else. You need to start from the top and work your way down. Not changing sponges frequently. Not reading instructions or where can you use this cleaning product. So I wanted to take a bath and before I wanted to, I wanted to clean and I look under and that is what I see. I decided to bring out the big guns, the vinegar, let it soak. I see people do this. It always works for them. I come back after about an hour and there's all those floaties. So freaking gross. And this is what it looks like. Literally nothing has changed. But I turn the water on and all of those green chunks come out of my faucet. So I said, let's use Lime Away. I'm scrubbing all the elbow grease. I took my roommate's toothbrush and just really got in there good scrubbed away and this is the result i decided i'm not taking a bath we be laying in my bed and you'd randomly get up and leave you would make a lot of time for anyone other than me the more that i gave the more you held back now i am emotionally starved you're stuck on your ex you're stuck Simple things around your house, you may not be cleaning enough. My mom actually cleans professionally and she taught me about all the smells that can get trapped in your carpet. Seriously, if you have pets or if you cook a lot, please steam clean your carpets. Bed sheets. You're sleeping in your bed every day between sweat, drool. If you have pets again, just wash them more often than you think. I wash mine weekly. Toilets should be self-explanatory, but with a potty training toddler, mine are getting done a lot more often. And don't forget this part down here. Make sure to get in between the handles on your sinks, but especially pay attention to this part where the water actually comes out. Ugh. Ceiling fans, but not just the bottom. Make sure to get the top of the blades too. All of this is getting trapped and circulated back into the air you're breathing. Microwaves, especially the roof. Ugh. Mine got bad, sorry. And I cannot stress this one enough. Doorknobs and light switches, we touch them all day every day and a lot of people don't think about cleaning them. said it in the past and I will say it again if you are not removing your toilet seat to clean your toilet you are doing it wrong quick little story my client was actually passing by as I was filming this video and she stopped me and she was like Vanessa what are you doing and I told her of course I'm removing the toilet seat to clean it the right way and she nearly vomited she was like that is so disgusting I cannot believe that I put my butt in there so this is a reminder that almost all toilet seats can be removed to clean behind them and under them.
tonight I'm going to show you how I clean my sink if I were doing like a deep clean. So the first thing I'm going to do is just squeegee out all the food um, down into the disposal. This is a really handy tool that just hangs off the side of my sink. And then I'm just going to rinse everything out, turn on my disposal. And then what I'm going to do is use Barkeeper's Friend. I love this product. I really love the liquid version, but it's really challenging to find at the moment. So this will do just as good. So I sprinkle it over and then I let it sit for about five, 10 minutes. Then I rinse it out and you'll wanna rinse it pretty thoroughly. I like to run my hands along the sink to make sure I have rinsed it all out. And then I squeegee once again, all the water out of my sink. Then I go over with a microfiber cloth, dry my sink out so that it is bone dry. Um, and also you want to make sure you wipe out your drain because those are really gross. And then the next thing I'm going to use is olive oil. So I'm going to buffer in just a tiny amount of olive oil and this helps make it shiny. Take some shaving cream, just a little bit, goes a long way. Then you're gonna buff it in like this. And we're almost done. Look at the difference. I'd rather come out the shower and see this than this. Wait, don't go. If you can physically scratch off the grease from your kitchen cabinets, it is time for a deep clean, baby. Yes, it is. I'm using one of my favorite degreasers from Dawn and my favorite non scratching sponge from Scrub Daddy. If you use warm water, it becomes soft. So, yeah, I'm just going to spray it in here, scrub, 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 and then take some paper towels, remove it, and that's it. You're done. How pretty.